Hello, this is Devin from WP Theming. I just wanted to show you some of the features that are available in Portfolio Plus. I assume that you've already tried the free version, Portfolio Press, and there's really not that much difference between these two themes. It's really only additional functionality. Um, and if you are moving from Portfolio Press to Portfolio Plus, it's really easy. You just activate the new theme and all your content and everything is carried over. So if you've installed Portfolio Plus and you want to make some of those customizations, you just go to the menu here on the front end and click Customize, and it pops up the Theme Customizer. Um, some of the same options in Portfolio Press are there, like the layout options, um, but we have a bunch of additional ones. So if you want to tweak your header styles, it's really easy to change a background color, and then your menu link color, for instance. Under the body styles, you can change the font color, the background color, link colors, the link hover colors, and your headings, both in the widgets and actual posts, and then of course the border colors. And in the footer, you have a couple more styles here for the background color and the text color. Um, so that should get you started on all the customization options for styles. But there's also a bunch of um, customization options or, or functionality options. And to get to those, you'll want to go to the dashboard of the theme here. And under Appearance Theme Options, you can see those. So um, a couple of the big ones that are available in Portfolio Plus are the Infinite Scroll option. So you really don't want to put a ton of posts on your home page just because it takes longer to load. Um, all those images take a long time to come in. So normally you'll see an older post link here and that allows you to go to the older posts. But in Portfolio Plus, um, you can just check this option here for infinite scroll. You save that and then as you load as you scroll down the page, these new posts just automatically come in. And it's really good for page speed and um, nice for your users to not have to click a button. <laughs> not that that's too difficult, but anything that makes it easier to view the work I think is better. Um, some of the same options that you saw in the customizer are also available here, but there's also some additional ones. So you can display the tagline under the site title or not. Um, you can change your menu position if you want it to float right of the logo or site title or underneath. Um, and then the portfolio has a bunch of options. So if you want to display featured images automatically, if you um, want to show the previous next links on portfolio posts, um, if you want to display the dates, actually that's in the general here. Um, there's a lot of additional options in case you want to use those. And then even on um, the post page, there are additional options. And if you go in here, here's one for portfolio link. So you can enter a URL. And if you're on this portfolio page, instead of when you click on this, it goes straight to the post, you could actually link to something offsite. So work you might have on Dribbble or GitHub or something. So it's an easy way to link and all you gotta do is just put those links in there. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what Portfolio Plus has. The features are of course listed in this post here too. Um, and if you purchase it and you get uh, priority support from me, so feel free to send any questions. Thanks.